watch the whole video for detailed steps. But the quick version is connect it to your smart hub using the ethernet cable. Plug it in and turn it on. Wait five minutes for them to pair. A solid aqua light will confirm this. Then it's ready to move further away to find a stronger signal. But let's go through that again in more detail, just to be sure. You can also check the description below for links to more info. Your EE Smart Hybrid Connect acts as a failsafe to keep you connected if your broadband connection ever drops out. Before we get started, make sure your EE Smart Hub or Smart Hub Plus is working correctly and you can get online. If you're having problems, you can watch our video on what the hub light is telling you. Use the EE app or get in touch. First, place your Smart Hybrid Connect next to your hub and close to a spare power socket. Take the ethernet cable with yellow ends and plug it into the back of your device. Then plug the other end into any yellow ports on the back of your hub. Next, slide the two parts of the power supply together. Connect the power cable to the back of your device. Plug the other end into the wall and switch the socket on. Now, turn it on by pressing the power button on the back of your device. After a few seconds, the central light on the front will turn solid green. It will start flashing aqua as your smart hybrid connect pairs with your hub. When it's finished, the central light will turn solid aqua. This should take about five minutes. Your smart hybrid connect needs a good 4G signal so it can connect you to the EE mobile network in case your Wi-Fi connection ever drops out. The three lights on the front of your device let you know how strong the signal is. Two or three aqua bars means your device has good connection. However, you can still get online if only one bar turns aqua. Once paired with your hub, it can also work over Wi-Fi. If you need a stronger signal, you can unplug and move your smart hybrid connect somewhere else. Tips for finding a good location include somewhere that's near a window, is well ventilated, raised off the ground, and away from other electrical devices. Then, plug your Smart Hybrid Connect's power supply back in and turn it on. If you pick a place that's too far away from your hub, the central light will turn solid orange or flash red. Now, you just need to explore your home to find the sweet spot for both a good 4G signal and connection to your hub. If the broadband connection ever goes down, the light on your EE Smart Hub will turn solid purple or white, while your Smart Hybrid Connect's 4G signal bars will turn white. Your Smart Hybrid Connect will keep you connected until your broadband issue is resolved. Hopefully you're all set up. If not, you can use our help site, the EE app, or you can get in touch. In the case, then use link on the screen and in the description below to get in touch. Does that say link on the screen? I think it says use use the link on the screen. I think I just oh, I just dropped the I dropped the the. <laughs>